Hello, map geeks. Um, here, let's say, is our map. Um, last time we were talking about uh, configuring our pop-ups. So now, hopefully, if we click here, we have a nice pop-up that tells us the name of the county. It tells us um, what the population of the county is, um, how many people per square mile there are, and the gender balance. Let's just say that this is what we want our pop-ups to show and the rest of our map is set up the way we want it. Um, now we're going to share our map to ArcGIS online so that we can make an interactive version um, in, in ArcGIS online or in a story map. So you click up here on the share tab and then you can share two different ways. So you could share a new web layer so share all of the data layers in this map as a new web layer to your ArcGIS organization or you can share uh, this new web app to your organization data layers in your map will be published as new web layers and included in the map along with the base map and any existing layers that's the, the simplest version for our purposes right now if say you only wanted to share uh, one data layer, you can also say we only wanted to share the county's layer to online. You can right click on that and click sharing over there and then you could share as a layer file, um, share as layer package, that's the easiest way to, um, to share say if you wanted to send a data layer to somebody else um, is to share as a layer package um, or share as a web layer. But let's say we, we want to share our whole web map. Um, click here. It's going to open up this tab on our right. Um, I'm going to call this crime map, maybe. Um, and whatever view uh, we're um, sharing uh, right now is the view that will automatically pop up when it's shared as a web map. So you want to um, get the, the map looking exactly the way you want it um, as much as possible and then um, fill all this stuff in and um, and set it up to share online. So we have to put in, it's required to put in some kind of summary and a few tags. Um, Oops, I can't spell Michigan. Um, tags, murder, crime, Wisconsin, Michigan. I believe that you are supposed to put in a comma after each tag. We could try this out. Yep, there we go. Now each of these is a separate tag. Um, you can set up how you want this to be configured. Um, we're going to copy all data exploratory and we're going to save it um, in one of our folders on um, the UW ArcGIS online. So I have a whole bunch of different folders um, that I have developed, but you may not have any folders. You may have one with your username and uh, UW Stout root or um, just a couple folders, but you can save it in whatever folder is most appropriate for the project that you are working on. Um, and then click who you're going to share it with. Okay, so you can share it with particular groups. Again, I have a whole bunch of groups, particular groups that are um, part of our organization. Uh, at Stout. You can share with everyone at Stout or you can share with the public if you think this should be a public web map and you are ready to share it with everyone. So I'm just going to click it to share at Stout so at least other students and faculty at Stout can see it and then before I click share I'm going to click analyze to make sure it doesn't give me any errors um, and that it's going to all work just fine. So click analyze Ah, uh, good. No error messages. If you um, do get some error messages, 
you'll either get ones that are a warning, which is this little uh, yellow triangle with exclamation point, or um, ones that that are actually things that you have to fix before uh, you publish the web map. Um, so if you get a warning, that's okay. You can go ahead. It's maybe there. It's trying to tell you something that maybe you should do. But um, if you get one of these little red circles with an X um, mark, then you have to fix that for sure. So now we are going to click share. Um, give it a second here. It's queuing it up and creating it for us. So that's basically all there is. It says it was successful. And so in the next little video, I am going to uh, show you how to open this up in ArcGIS Online and get it ready to put into a story map.